He loved the carnival. As soon as he hears the familiar sounds of the carnival's music, the boy's heart would race with excitement and all of his fears would melt away. The bright lights, <laughs> the smell of popcorn and cotton candy, and the sound of laughter were all he needed to forget about the world outside. His favorite was the freak show, a collective of extraordinary characters putting on a wonderful show. Even though he did not know any of them personally, he felt like they were his family. Oh yes, he loved the carnival. It was the only place that he felt safe. It was the only place where his father could not find him. Carnival Hunt is an asymmetric multiplayer horror game with a unique twist. Game will take place on a carnival ground during the Victorian era. On the outside, it is your typical carnival. Families having fun, playing, laughing, everyone is happy. But inside, deep down the rabbit hole, there is a completely different carnival. Carnivals are meant to make many people happy, but this one is just for one person's pleasure. All the characters in Carnival Hunt are basically wind-up dolls, except for one. So they are dependent on the wind-up mechanism inside them. They need to be charged in order to stay alive or to function better. What we mean by functioning better is, whenever a player gets an excess wind-up charge, they will be rewarded with a buff. Our bread and butter, pride and joy, is our signature gear system. It is essentially a character build system, which we developed for Carnival Hunt. Its main purpose is to add more layers and just the right amount of complexity to the game. The gear system makes perfect sense because our characters are mechanical and they literally have gears inside them, which gives them the potential to swap out and upgrade their gears. We will explain the gear system in further detail later in the video. The Magician and the Bunny are the perfect characters, perfect opposites. That is why we chose this particular dynamic for Carnival Hunt. Bunnies represent innocence and the Magician represents a mischievous character who tricks the innocent. Both sides have their advantages and disadvantages. Bunnies obviously can't directly fight back the Magician, but they can use their small size and agility to disorient and escape from him. The Bunnies can play We have so many exciting ideas. At the heart of our art style is a commitment to originality. And to achieve this, we are infusing the essence of the Victorian era with the mechanical workings of wind-off gears, dark and mysterious carnival motifs, and the touch of traditional Mongolian culture. 
the ultimate goal of the bunnies is to escape the circus. But it's not that simple as it sounds. To achieve a victory, players must use all the skills and resources they have. Like our previous game, Fragile, the player will look through the lens of the innocent and must face impossible odds and overcome them. But this time, you are not alone. You will have a friend and teammates beside you. Bunnies will start from the ground floor of the circus. The first thing they must do upon waking up is to loot the broken bunnies for the battles. To make their way up, bunnies must activate one of the overhead conveyors because the floors are not accessible by foot. There are four floors and the fourth floor has the escape coaster. Each floor grants the players to access a new tools. The bunnies who made it to the higher floors can open the shortcuts for their teammates. If the bunny is brave and skilled enough, it can even dodge the magician's grasp. Magician's ultimate goal is to prevent the bunnies from escaping the circus. There are a few different ways to achieve this. He can throw the bunnies back to the lower levels. He can stop the bunnies from activating the conveyors. Using his traps to capture the bunnies. Even when the bunnies are out of the reach of the magician, he can still bring them down mid-air. He can even kill the bunnies in the late game. In the late game of the carnival hunt, game shifts to something simple, but extra suspenseful. It will be a faster, shorter, and heart pounding for both sides. We are also constantly thinking about the series and the casual player base at the same time. So Carnival Hunt can provide for both player types. When looting the broken bunnies, players can find new skill gear, empty toolbox or candy. And skill gear will give you bunnies new skills and empty toolbox is needed for getting new tools. And candy is in-game currency. And these items can only be used in Jack's station. And Jack is roaming merchant slash mechanic of the carnival. He can help you upgrade your gears and he can also sell you new tools. With more candy, you can get better rarity tools from Jack. But keep in mind, you need your battle to activate Jack's shop. We're also planning to add a rewarding progression system as well as a ranked mode. From the moment we announced Carnival Hunt, we've been overwhelmed with the support and love from our followers, who are experts in the genre. Their valuable feedback and suggestions based on their experience have been a beacon of hope for us, and we're taking every single one of their wishes into careful consideration, because we know how much it means to them. We can't bear the thought of anyone being disappointed in our game. Carnival Hunt is more than just a project to us. It's a labor of love that we hold close to our hearts. We know that we have something truly special in our hands, and we want to nurture and care for it every step of the way. Our promise is to make Carnival Hunt the best it can be, a game that our followers can be proud of and enjoy for years to come. Our goal is to become a trustworthy game development studio and always delivers on its promises. Despite being a small indie studio, we pour our hearts and souls into our work, constantly pushing the envelope to create something truly remarkable. We have so many exciting ideas for this game, but in order to bring them to life, we need to expand our teams with more talented ones. And that's where Kickstarter comes in. It's the perfect platform for us to reach out to potential supporters who share our passion for gaming and want to help us to make our dreams reality. One of the exciting ideas we want to make is to create an introduction slash story mode for each carnival monster. We're also dedicated to regularly updating the game and we decide to add new content frequently. We're also committed to scaling the scope of the game 
and increasing its quality, at the same time ensuring that players have an immersive and enjoyable experience all the time. So, join us on this exciting journey and let's make this awesome game together.